At two years old, Ari Elman was like most toddlers, a boy so full of life, his parents called him Lion. But then sudden changes, low energy, vomiting, and unexplained seizures. And at some point we were like, okay, this is not just a virus. It's your other finger. Tests confirmed their worst fears, a rare and life-threatening tumor growing deep at the base of Ari's brain. Desperate to save their son, the Elmans turned to hospitals around the country searching for a treatment. How do you start to even wrap your head around uh, what's next? Their best option was also the most risky. Ari needed special surgery to remove the tumor. But at just two years old, his doctors say it had never been performed on a patient so young. Actually, most people thought it was not possible. But Dr. Fernandez Miranda and the team at Stanford University had a groundbreaking approach. To do the seemingly impossible, they wanted to go through Ari's nose, a so-called endoscopic skull-based surgery, to reach and remove the tumor. To get there, they first had to come here, Stanford's Neurosurgical Virtual Reality Center, where Ari's brain and tumor were precisely mapped out. So I can simulate my approach. Surgeons spent hours practicing in a virtual OR and on a 3D printed replica of Ari's skull. If you go one millimeter beyond and you are not careful, you can injure the carotid artery, get a major bleeder. On surgery day, the stakes and the tension were high and I'm just bawling, I can't handle, like, you know, it's just too much. For 16 hours, doctors removed Ari's tumor piece by piece. Oh. Now, months after the high stakes operation, the young lion the Elmans once feared they'd lose has come roaring back to life, giving other families hope that the impossible is now possible. Ayman Mohideen, NBC News, Palo Alto, California. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.